so i've been getting a lot of requests lately from you know users um to make a video on how to use janitor ai okay um so here is the video so in this video i'm going to be showing you how to use janitor ai using the revax proxy open ai method okay and um, i assure you that this method is working 100 percent as long as you follow this video from beginning till the end and follow the steps as i follow them okay and um, if you're finding this channel for the first time we upload videos on programming linux tutorials ethical hacking and you know and basically tech tutorials so um if you're interested in this niche make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications and um without wasting much of your time let us get to the video so welcome back everyone the first thing you do is you head to the website okay janitorai.com and you're going to register if you haven't created an account before okay so if you're creating an account for the first time you can log in with either your google account twitter or discord account and it is advisable that you are up to 18 years old or more before using janitor ai because it contains some content that are unsafe okay so after registering with a valid account you're going to be told to fill in your profile okay so choose your name i'm going to choose bed and my username i'm going to just choose bed tutorial okay and um about me you're just going to write a little thing about you so um i'm just going to say call me bet in tech i'm a tech enthusiast all right i'm a tech enthusiast um that is that about that and the appearance session is very important because your appearance is what you know the the chat bots are going to refer to you as so uh, make sure you write your appearance in a way that you know suits you okay and after that you're going to click on update profile all right so click on update profile and your profile is going to be updated now that your profile is updated you can now go back to the home page and select any chatbot of your choice all right so um, i'm just going to scroll down a little bit and um, here is one female vampire so i'm going to chat with female vampire okay <laughs> let's chat with female vampire so you're going to click on chat with female vampire and as you can see I get an error that says my api is not ready click to set up okay so you're going to click on that and under the api settings as you can see we have open ai and cobalt ai okay we're not going to be using cobalt ai we're going to be using open ai and in open ai we're going to be selecting reverse proxy in the access open ai api okay we're going to be using reverse proxy now to use reverse proxy how do we use reverse proxy okay so you're going to open a new tab you're going to open a new tab and in that new tab you're going to search for open ai reverse proxy all right so you're going to search for open ai reverse proxy so you're going to click on that and um you're going to be clicking on this power osman open ai all right so i'm going to be pasting the link to this in the description below and i'm going to be writing an article on this so you can just easily check the article and you know um, guide yourself with it now that you're in the github page of the reverse proxy okay you're going to realize that there is two ways of setting up the reverse proxy it's either hosting it on your own api or you're going to host it on you know on their discord server i'm going to be talking about the first method in a video i'm going to be making in the future but for now we're going to be using their discord server so make sure you locate um the option here that says join our discord server okay so you're going to click on that and you will be redirected to the discord invite all right so uh make sure you have discord installed on your phone okay for this to work so you're going to click on accept invite click on accept invite and um it is going to redirect you to the discord application and it is going to open their page okay so you're going to also click on accept invite on the discord application and um it is going to open up the you know the the page so you'll be welcomed and you'll be asked to answer a few questions you can choose to you know um just skip everything but as for me i'm just going to you know answer the questions so what do you want to be notified about all notifications all notifications okay are you a programmer if you select your languages um, i'm going to select python uh php and java yeah let's click on next and what is your pronoun oh okay he him let's just select that next agree and finish okay um so this is it uh, you'll be welcome to their discord page okay and now that we're inside it let us locate you know 
let us locate bots you're going to locate bots in their discord server all right you're going to locate bots it is important to know that you have to be your member for at least 10 minutes before you are able to send messages so you're going to relax for 10 minutes and after 10 minutes you can start messaging okay so to get um <clears throat> an api key you're going to type the command forward slash key in the bot server and you're going to click on enter okay and that command is going to help you generate your own api key so as you can see i've been given an api key so you're going to copy that api key okay you're going to copy that and i'm um, you're going to locate reverse proxy okay reverse proxy you're going to locate that also reverse proxy there it is and in the reverse proxy page you're going to copy so you're not we're not able to copy just this link so we're going to copy everything here we're going to copy all the texts okay and then we're going to paste it in a notepad somewhere and um you know you're going to make sure it is just the link that is showing here and as you can see you're going to make sure you copy your api just like it is showing on your screen right now so your link and your api and then we're going to head back to janitor ai all right so now that we're in janitor ai we want to click on api not ready click to set up again and um, we want to select reverse proxy just like i showed you earlier so in the open ai reverse proxy you're going to paste the link okay the link we copied from the discord server you're going to paste it there and in the reverse proxy key you're going to paste the api key there okay and um after that the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on save settings okay you can you know you can choose to edit your prompt but i do not want to edit it so i'm just going to use the custom prompt and as you can see right there it says i'm using open ai so now let us try chatting with with female vampire and as you can see she said hello there handsome it seems like you've caught my attention how can i assist you today that doesn't sound much like a vampire but at least she replied okay and i'm thinking because we haven't chatted so much um, it is important to notice that um, OpenAI gives you credits, okay? You're going to be chatting with credits, so uh, make sure you don't exhaust your credits. The credit is going to be given to you daily, so you can chat with your credits. And to increase your credit, I think you can, you know, choose to support them. Or, you know, I don't know much about how their credit works, because I just made this tutorial video, okay? So, um, this is it, and you can also create your own custom characters. So, for those of you that want to use custom characters, just you know go to the custom character option and choose how you want your custom character to be so this is how you do it and it you know works 100 percent but if you're getting a server error just be patient okay it means the server is overloaded and there's too many people on it so you just have to relax and wait for the server usage rates to reduce and you know it is going to be working perfectly fine when chat gpt first came out also i think it was malfunctioning like that it will be on sometimes and it will be off sometimes so you're going to give the server time okay just to, and once the workload has reduced it will be back online again so that is how it works um if you found this video helpful make sure you click the subscribe button share this video and turn on bell notifications and if you're encountering any error let me know in the comment section below and i'll you know be sure to reply as soon as i can thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye